15 minutes left. Okay, so uh, FTP. So FTP worth saying. Why? Because it is a very fundamental service. You can use it through our browser. <coughs> and why we say that it's not because it's old, but it is the first. It is the first kind of uh, basic service that you can find. But they use different port numbers or more than one TCP connection. Why they need it? Why they need one more than, let's say HTTP service. HTTP service, you need one connection and to do the file transfer. Now FTP is also file transfer. Why they need two? Okay, of course there is a reason. Okay, today I will tell about the reason and that's why I say that this is a worth mentioning protocol. Okay, of course there are nowadays many protocols or many, not protocols, applications require more than one TCP connections. Let's say BT. BT have many, many connections, hundreds of connections, okay? But here is the start. It is a very typical client-to-server model, okay? A client send a request to the server, and server waits for a, an incoming request from a client. And there are two ports. Let me show you the, the service name. What is that? services okay FTP so there are two two different ports uh, one is called FTP data port 20 one is called FTP or FTP commands okay so the commands will go through or the control the control of the commands will go through the port 21 and the data what is the mean of data when you type uh, the get get command want to get a file then you will have data when you want to uh, upload something you use a post command then you will also uh, put, not post, put command, then we also use the data channel. Okay, so for all the simple commands, you will use port 21. Now, what is the meaning? The meaning is that if I talk to ftp.csd.ch, no, ch, maybe chk version, chk. I talk to 21. Okay, so what is 21? I, I, I show it again. Grab 21. I what? 21, yeah, what? In a space here. What? Okay, I surrender. FTP model what? I want to show my middle finger. Okay. Okay, I copy and paste and paste here, okay? So, Put it here, copy, ah, test edit, new document, okay, paste it here so that you can see it clearly, so port, eh, oh, yeah. wrong, copy, paste, ah, enter, good, now you can see this very clearly, so let me try now. What I'm going to try is to tell that to ftp.cuhk.ed.hk and to port 21. Okay, so this is a control port. So I can see CHK web server is, is greeting me. Okay, I will let's say the um, uh, user FTP anonymous login. Okay, pass. I um, good. Dot com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I can. I can get into it. Okay. <laughs> so it says anonymous login granted. Bye. Okay. Bye. Not understood. Quit. Okay. Quit. Okay. So now I can go through this uh, to twenty one. Now how about twenty? How about twenty? Clear. Go. What is that? Something very strange, right? I can talk to the same machine at port 21, but I cannot talk to the same machine with 20. So 20 only available when an FTP server want to give you something. You want your, if you want to upload some data, it will open 20. When it want to send you some data, it will also open 20. So 20 is open on demand. Can you see this? I cannot go in. I cannot go in. But 21, yes, I can go in. Okay, so when, oh, let me close this. 
So when when we will connect to this, so let's uh, have a preview of uh, what is a FTP protocol. Every protocol has certain properties that are very very different from HTTP. First of all, FTP protocol you can see this when I log into their control port, it won't cut me, right? I type nothing, it will wait. When I type something, some command, I do it again. So 21, I say user, a user is a command. So that I will log in as TY Wong, no, TY Wong is not a valid guy. So FTP is an anonymous account. So when I type in, unlike HTTP, HTTP I send in the command, in the next round, it will stop the TCP connection. Now it is not, because it want to keep some state. What is the state? The state that the client know that I'm FTP account. The server also know that you are FTP account trying to log in. Okay? Oh yeah. Wow, so make them fire. 30 seconds only. Okay? So again, user, FTP, pass. Uh, ha ha at hi hi. .tt.com, okay. Yeah, okay. So it says uh, anonymous access granted, okay. So what is the stage that we will keep? Now the client know that the client, although I'm not a right hand client program, I use an FTP program. So uh, I mean the telnet program. The telnet program has no states. Now for the state is in my mind. I know that I have logged in. But how about server? The server also know about this. You have logged in. How about HTTP? No. You trans transmit a, a request and with a reply, stop. The TCP connection stop. Now here, the TCP connection is still there and waiting for your signal. Okay? So let me stop this guy. So it means this is a state. And also there are other commands. I can't remember all commands. Huh? Some commands like I want to change the directory. When I go to a FTP, Server, I can CD to whatever locations. Okay, so let's take a look. What are the locations that I can CD to? Wow, nearly type the wrong key. FTP, FTP dot CS. Oh, not CSC. CSC dot ed dot hk. So, uh, if I have logged in successfully, uh, what what is behind the screen of our there's a browser? The browser also do the same thing. Say that user is anonymous user called FTP. And log in as a as a strange uh, email address. Okay, and then the next command that it will ask for is to list the directory. Okay, and when you see the list directory, basically you can uh, change to whatever directory you want. Uh, let's say the go to the pop. Okay, do you know that our our FTP server of CHK is a rich resource of Linux? It's contain many Linux distribution. Click to Linux. Fedora, Gen2, Mandarin, Ubuntu, Snapware, Snapware you never use it, uh, Red Hat, okay? So let's check uh, whether it is the uh, latest Ubuntu. It's got distribution. Wow! Take a look at the update time. Whoa, something on fire. Just, just two hours before. Two hours before it's update a new distribution. Yeah. So can okay, you see this? We have a rich resource in our FTP server. This is some, something that is for this lecture. Okay, so you can go there and uh, or maybe you want to download he also here. There should be some no ISO any ISO installer. Wow! Already have a CD-ROM image. No ISO image. Oh. Current. Where is the ISO image? CD ROM. Netboot. Or you can use network to put it. Wow, very powerful. Huh? So basically, you can go in there and take a look. Okay, we go back to FTP. Okay, you you FTP your thing. I FTP my thing. Okay, I do this FTP. So this is uh, what we call uh, some, some strange, right? It's very strange. Because you've never seen this before. You only know HTTP, which is connectionless. Now, how about uh, connectionless means that send something, receive, gone, okay? We call it non-persistent connection. Now we have a persistent connection, of course, it depends on your application. What is the meaning of impact on application? 
you want to have an application that easy to implement, good. What is the meaning? You don't need to cache. You don't want to save any state, okay? Unlike your assignment one, your assignment one know, need to know the state and the state of whether you have login or not, whether you have a, yeah, you are inputting a file and want to get a certain file and why, whether you are in the transfer of the file data, so and so forth, okay? So the advantage is easy as well as the server and the client don't need to remember anything. And the disadvantage is just reverse, okay? So the persistent connection is like this. It will wait for your uh, next request and also HTTP connection that has the keep alive version. Okay? So I will skip this because it's just uh, some, uh, some uh, simple thing. Now the feature is about the port 21. Okay? So how can I show you the port 21? That's why I said that today I want you to have a Want to have a Wireshark? I want you to have a Wireshark capture of what happened for 21 and 2020. Why we need the training port, the data port? Okay. So I I want to show you this first. Okay. What is it? In the next, well not next, the coming Wednesday, I will do a Wireshark capture again uh, using my my bed windows. Okay. So I will try this. User log in. And then login OK, send a password, OK, and it will welcome me. And I will type a command called list. Okay? So what is the meaning of list? I tell it again, user FTP pass abc at abc.com. Is there any abc.com? I don't know. Okay, so how about I type list as in this? Diagram. So the list diagram already tells me that when I type list, I expect that the server execute slash bin slash ls. Okay, I expect something happen. Now, what is that? When I type list, I'm able to build data connection in front of it. What is that? It means the server do some uh, supernatural thing. Okay, how supernatural is this? It think that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't use this connection to ship the LS data to the client. That's very interesting, huh? What, what should be the proper way? The proper way is not going back here, but start a new connection with is port 20 and ask the client to connect to my port 20. Now is the moment that the server turn on port 20 connection I welcome you to come and the client connect to it and once the server know that you connect immediately ship the content of slash bin slash ls to the client program so these two lines represent the same client and then what after the transfer of the slash bin slash ls content it will cut the connection here the original Original port will receive transfer complete. Why is that? Why it wants to have something like this? Very strange idea. Okay, I don't know whether you feel it strange or not. I feel very strange, very uncomfortable. And the reason is, the reason is here. Okay, because I don't have a wireshark trace, I cannot prove it to you. Next time, I'll prove it to you. I just want to do something. What is that? How can you abort a trans trans a transaction? Okay, I would say it's a transaction, or in HTTP it's a transfer. How can you stop HTTP transfer in your browser while you are downloading something? It's low, very slow, huh? What do you do? Press escape, right? Huh? No, no, F five, not F five. F five is again, okay? Where it's very slow, you don't want to load it. You press escape, right? So in, in that case for HTTP, when you press escape, later on when you have Russia, I will show you. It means stop the TCP connection right away. Okay? I don't care, just stop it. This is the, the functionality of escape. Now how about FTP? FTP is something different. Because FTP has a state. I know that you have logged in. I'm a server. You are a client. You also know that you have logged in. Now if I 
just to stop the transaction and by cutting the TCP connection, that means that we pull the plug. Okay, we are disconnect again. Now what will happen if you just want to stop the file transfer, but want to start another file transfer after I stop, you have to lock it again, which is not, not beautiful, right? Which is not beautiful. So we wish to in, improve it by doing one thing. The thing is, while something is being transferred, I don't want to have it. I want to send a signal. I want to send a signal to the server. Okay, what is that signal? To send, tell the server to abort. Abort sending the file content. Which is nice, right? Very, very beautiful. While you're doing transfer, you can send a port signal so that you can still keep the connected state, still keep the login state, you can start the next transfer right away. But is it possible to be implemented? I would say no. Why? It is a, to test your ability to think in a programmatic way. Okay? So where did you have programmer? Think about it on the server side. So what is server side? The server side has this port number 21 open to you to connect to you. Okay? And let's say the server side is a multi-threaded server. So there is a thread serving you and another thread serving another client. Okay? Now that thread is using the right system call to send data to your side. While it is doing the right system call, can it also call read system call so that when there is an abort request sending to you, you can receive it. Which is not possible, right? Because you are, you are in the loop. The loop is the right things. Okay, can you say that, all oh, right, maybe we read for, read for uh, one millisecond, oh, nothing to read and write again. No. You can abort that read, right? When you start calling the read, you will block there. Okay, so it is not possible to implement the abroad, abroad request until the file transfer is completed. It's not possible. You can do so. So how to implement that? The inventor of FTP is very clever. He know that if I really want to support it, we want one more port. Okay, we don't mix the control and the data together. While you are using the data, if Y is an O, oh, I swap the number. Okay. It should be a 20 is here. 21 is the control. Okay. So the 20 is uh, shipping the file and the 21 using another thread to call read, waiting for your next command. So what is the problem? No, it's no problem at all, right? It's waiting for your next command. Okay. If at that moment you immediately send a port, no problem. No problem, okay? If I receive an abort at that particular moment, then I can stop this and terminate this connection, okay? So why, why this useful, okay? Maybe you never used an FTP before. Usually when I use FTP, I will use to transfer back files, okay? What happens if I download a wrong file? Should I need to wait forever? No, I don't want to, okay? I just want to afford it, okay? For HTTP, it's okay because there is no login status. And for FTP, we want to keep the login status. That's why it is implemented in that way, okay? So, in, in the next lecture, I will tell you uh, how exactly, oh, there is a no, no command there. Let me check. I, ah, here. So I will show this command in the coming Wednesday with the Wireshark capture, and then we will end this chapter and so, if we are lucky, okay, we can start the next chapter. And what is the next chapter? Well, we hopefully will start the how to implement UDP, how to implement checksum, how to detect uh, packet corruption. Okay, so.